Around this time of year, us motoring journalists usually look back at what made us feel hot under our ill-fitting tweed collars. But instead of dwell on the past, we decided to look forward to the cars that you really need to care about. Why? Because this year looks to be an absolute blinder, with impressive offerings from BMW, Ford, Alfa Romeo and Ferrari all out to make you forget the negative things in life. Such as austerity, the cream egg recipe change and of course, how much weight you put on over Christmas. High powered BMWs are best served small and light as the M135i proved. On paper, the 370 horsepower BMW M2 will almost certainly give the bigger M3 and M4 something to worry about. Bettering its one amp successor will be no easy challenge of course, but its 3 litre M twin power turbo engine and 0 to 62 mile per hour time at 4.5 seconds gets things off to a good start. Michelin Pilot Super Sport tyres and 380mm discs on the front, meanwhile, should make it capable of losing speed as fast as it gains it. Best of all, it will be served up as a six-speed manual. Sweet. Another heavy hitter of 2016 will almost certainly be the new Ford Focus RS, which looks in a position to surpass just about every hot hatch in 2015, including the M135i and the VW Golf R. This is because of its 350 PS 2.3 litre EcoBoost engine, which will propel the car from 0 to 62 in 4.7 seconds with launch control doing its thing. Its top speed of 165 miles per hour, meanwhile, makes it almost as fast as the Honda Civic Type R. When you bring drift legend Ken Block in as a consultant, you know Ford really means business. We want very much. Land Rover's Evoque needs no introduction, mainly because you see so many of the bloody things around. But if there was one thing it lacked, it was a convertible roof. At least that's what Land Rover thinks. A convertible version has been announced and it will be here in the spring of 2016. The topless Evoque boasts a fabric roof that opens in 21 seconds and closes in 18, and is powered by various engines, including the fuel sipping and Genium diesel. The idea of a Fiat engine in a Japanese body may seem a bit, well, skew if, but we're still kind of excited about the Fiat 124 for a few reasons. Not only does it look great, it has the same underpinnings as the new MX-5, which is a proven smile razor. A curb weight of around 1,000 kilograms is another plus, and it's got a convertible roof. The fact that it looks like a baby Dodge Viper is the icing on the cake. Let's just pray it drives better than the Giulietta and Mito. Speaking of which, the 2016 Dodge Viper ACR has been annihilating various American track records in its quest to prove that big engines and big tyres do the job. We use the term annihilate without hyperbole because it's already lapped the Laguna Seca Raceway faster than a Porsche 918 Spyder, that one million quid German hypercar. To be fair, what else would you expect from a car with a six foot adjustable spoiler that creates in excess of 770 kilograms of downforce and an 8.4 litre V10 engine with 645 brake. Anyone who loves cars will know you're supposed to own at least one Alfa Romeo and be on first name terms with a good mechanic to keep it running. The Mad as a Box of Frogs Alfa 4C is a difficult thing to love, but the 510 horsepower six cylinder Giulia looks like a very exciting proposition. With a 50 50 weight ratio, 0 to 62 mile per hour time of 3.9 seconds, bonkers Italian styling and what Alpha claims will be a record-breaking stopping distances, is going to take the fight nicely to rivals like the BMW M4. What the Ferrari F12 TDF lacks in sexy naming, it more than makes up for with performance. Give Ferrari the asking price of £243,083 and you can expect a track-level version of the already dangerously quick F12. The 6.3-litre V12 has been tuned to 769 horsepower, up 40 horsepower, and torque is 705 newton meters, up 15, while 110 kilograms of weight has been shaved off. As a result, 0 to 62 takes a mere 2.9 seconds, and 0 to 124 takes just 7.9. Incidentally, only 799 will be built, so don't expect to see too many on the road in 2016. If you do, have a bib ready to catch the dribble. So there you have it, folks. These are the cars we think you should keep an eye on in 2016. Be sure to check out Recombu Cars for more news, reviews and features and of course subscribe to Recombu Cars YouTube channel for more where this came from.